Thanks for having me. And yes, this is the best job ever because I work with amazing people and lots and lots of wild animals. And the one thing I have to say about Roger Williams Park Zoo is we take the mission really seriously. And so every day, we're closed right now, but every day when kids and adults and come through the door, we hope that you leave learning a little bit about wildlife and wild places. My guess is if you're from Providence, and you are over 10 years old and don't have kids, you may not have been to the zoo recently, but even if you've been to the zoo, you may not have been to the vet hospital or seen a vet procedure. Um, I am really proud of the fact that we have the best animal care that you could possibly imagine. Um, we have two full-time veterinarians and two uh, full-time vet techs, and we also have very highly trained um, keepers some of them have been at the zoo for 20 years and know what they're doing. Um, when you see animals, they're usually eating and sleeping, but oftentimes um, we are behind the scenes giving animals vaccines and like kids, they hate it. So this animal, when her picture was being taken, was screaming. Um, but a healthy animal is a happy animal and also makes happy humans. We do a lot of specialty medicine, and as you can see, this snake is getting um, an acupuncture treatment, but we've also done acupuncture on a giraffe. We did very successful cataract surgery on our seals, and we've even done um, dental work on many of our animals. We have a state-of-the-art veterinary um, hospital with up-to-date, obviously, um, x-ray and technology machines. And this stuff is used every day, whether it's a simple procedure or a specialty like a root canal for a bear. Um, we are, I think, in the middle of a baby boom. Um, but unlike when um, humans have babies, there's no... The, the animal is left alone so that it's recreating, even though it's in the zoo, a very natural environment. Um, and if you have been following us on Facebook, you'll know that we just had some more babies in the rainforest and we will be having some more. We also have a commissary and our vets make um, detailed dietary plans for every animal. Um, this is the animal that was getting the shot. So you can see that we have happy animals once their health care is done. This is little Thistle, who um, is a binturong, is a, this picture was taken about a year ago. She is a very healthy, active binturong, but she didn't like her shots. Um, another component of what we do is conservation of species. As you know, there are multitudes of endangered animals, and it really is up to um, many of our zoos, especially zoos like us who are part of the Association of Zoos and Aquariums, to make sure no animal goes extinct. At the Roger Williams Park Zoo, we um, focus a lot on local species. Now, if you look outside, you'll see little bunnies running all over the place. Those, most, those are not native to New England. Our New England cottontail rabbit is almost extinct, so we have a breeding program, as is the American burying beetle, which we are trying to bring back through New England. Our red wolf is a critically endangered animal. There's about 40 of them left. So it really is incumbent on us to make sure this animal, like so many, um, does not disappear because every animal is, and everything is important to our ecosystem. Um, we work with the AZA, uh, Association of Zoos and Aquariums, and a program called Saving Animals from Extinction, and we make sure that we're breeding appropriately, that um, it's almost like Match.com, if I say so, and the animals will be ambassadors for their cousins in the wild. I'm pretty proud of the recognition that we are getting. This is Jane Goodall and Lou Parati next to her, who's our director, director of conservation programming. And he is responsible for saving the American burying beetle and the New England cottontail that you just saw. Um, we have a number of education programs. It's really important that young children learn about wildlife and wild places because they're gonna be the ones who will be worrying about the environment 
10, 20, 30 years from now. Um, we do our zoo camp every summer. Right now we're doing a virtual zoo camp on Friday afternoons. But many of the children who come through our camps um, years later have become biologists, zoologists, and we really stress kids going into the sciences. Um, I would be remiss if you're from Providence or anywhere in, in New England, you've probably been to the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular, but even that has some behind the scenes. And so a pumpkin doesn't look like this by accident. Um, there are many, many artists who work together to design these pumpkins. So they may use a Sharpie, they may use a paintbrush, they can use a magic marker, but they start in mid-September and they start basically etching out these um, scenes that you see as you walk through our wetlands trail. There were over 5,000 pumpkins on that trail and they don't hang themselves. So it is quite the operation. And this is what you see starting in September and even in October as they change out the pumpkins. But even jack o -Lion Spectacular has some spectacular behind the scenes um, viewing. And so I'm hoping you got just a quick glimpse and maybe you'll come visit and maybe you'll get to see behind the scenes at some point.